Welcome to my channel where you find all about mixed media, art journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi, my name is Bea Grob and I'm glad you are here today. Welcome back to another video. Again, it's going to be a collaboration. I have been invited by the group Live Art Journaling and Self-Development. They present a YouTube Advent Top, which means 24 days of fun. So if you go over to that group, I will have the link down below in the description. They post every day a video from different contributors. Now, with no further ado, let's dive into my contribution. As you can see here, I have acrylic paints, uh, more on the vibrant side. I have like the greens and the reds. I do have those uh, foam brushes, dot. I do have my acrylic brushes, whatever you have. I use the flat brushes, it's easier for me, but that's also a little bit of a question of a personal preference. I do have my water over here, I do have a stencil, and I do have washi tape. I have my spray bottle in case I need it, and then I have, well, just a plastic tray as a tap, as, as a palette. Uh, I'm working in the Dina Wakely art journal, and I'm gonna do a double spread. And yes, there is already paint from something before. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mask up here, and that's what I use the washi tape for. Uh, just to make sort of a um, sharp edge and um, thinking thinking I actually I actually gonna first with um, with the orange and red colors before I mask off and I do like to see the strokes but again that's a personal preference maybe you want it more smooth which you can do if you move just from one side but I like the strokes just gives a little something something for me it looks more paintedly okay that's what we have so far now I'm going to use the heat tool to dry it off. Now I also have this purple, which I'm going to use at the top, and I'm actually going to grab also some blue. Now you can use any brand of uh, paint for that, even craft paint, it doesn't matter. It's just the craft paint is sometimes a little bit more matte and is always opaque, while student and artist grade uh, acrylic paints can be transparent which this actually is a transparent but the purple isn't at all so you just have to know that don't think you have to spend when you start off all the money on the really expensive um, paint and I do protect a little bit at least <laughs> over here And again, I like the brush strokes. I think I need a little bit more purple. And we don't have to close the gap here because there's going to be something over here anyway. It is a little bit too blue for my taste. I imagined more purple, so I'm gonna go over again with some purple. Okay, it is dry. Now it's time for the tape. And I want a sharp edge, so that's why I use the tape. But I'm gonna use it in pieces. And for me, the line down be below here is important, not what's up there. And I don't like this. Oh, I'm actually going to zoom you in here. So that you see what I do. Okay. I do have a corner here, which I don't like. 
I want a continuous line down here. And now we go on to our greens. That's actually a metallic, but you don't have to. You can use plain colors too. I also gonna use some Naples yellow, which is a liquid text. The others were Amsterdam, but as I said, the brand doesn't matter so much for that kind of work. You more choose what colors you like. So next I'm going to use some stencil. I'm going to add different greens of um, squares. While the paint is still wet, I carefully remove the tape. At least the, the green is still wet, the yellow is already dry. Okay, the paint is dry. Now it's time. What I want to do is I want to paint in some trees and I, I use the um, Stabilo all in white just to give me a rough idea I mean I don't follow completely completely and I first make the crowns and then I add the stems and down here we have the stems just some wiggly lines it's an abstract uh, painting, it's not realistic, just a representation of some trees. See how I hold the pencil? Sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't hold it like that. I want loose and wiggly, which is easier that way. So if you look at the packaging, you see those little squares here. This completely black square means this is an opaque color. The half crossed, half black, half empty means it's half transparent. So that's what I'm going to use mostly to cover up the orange and the blue up there. And I'm also going to switch to a smaller brush. Oh, I have to zoom you back in. Here we go. Uh, I do switch to a smaller brush now. And again, the colors aren't realistic. As I said, I don't want to paint the realistic trees. Again, if you like the painterly look, make strokes in different angles. And even the tree trunks gonna be the same green. Okay, now I'm going to go in right while it's still wet, preferably with some lighter colors and I always add it to one side only because the light is coming from, from here, means here we're going to have the light against the dark, so 
Just to distinguish also between the different trees, we need to add a little bit sort of a shadow and light. Now here I pretend this tree is in front of this tree, just to change it up a little bit. Now I go along uh, just with the tip of my brush on the side where I have the dark along the tree trunk. And I'm not overly concerned if it doesn't go all along. If I have gaps, I actually like that. And I'm also adding more like little branches I'm going to do the same thing on the other side with the yellow green yellow green it's a yellow green Now I need to carve out again a little bit uh, of background. i just show you what I mean with that. Because uh, trees are not just plain green. There are gaps where the background comes through. So I'm going to add again some of these colors. If I can have a little bit. Just a little bit, please. Yeah, no, of course not a little bit. <laughs> if you're at the end of uh, one of those tubes, you always get more than what you need. Okay, so what I do, I just dip in in the color and add like little color bunches. And then I widen them a little bit, not in all areas, but in some. I'm not quite happy with my background here, so I think I'm gonna just add more green here in different shades and also even some blue just sometimes you have to switch your design you have an idea and then it doesn't work out that's what exactly happened here so i'm gonna change that So here we are. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I hope to see you soon again. Take care. Bye.